My name is Anthony Satani with Metropolitan Car Liner. Today we're going to be talking about diagnosing and repairing a diamond condition in a full frame vehicle. So as in any full frame vehicle repair, we've gone ahead and centered two points on the known good side of the vehicle and we've come across, spring loaded our measuring system on what is to be our third point and checked the length to see if a diamond condition exists. In this case, we're showing a length of negative 19 millimeters indicating a severe diamond condition. So with any full frame vehicle, it's best to center on one side of the vehicle first. So we're going to start in the rear and then move to the front on the same side of the vehicle. Coming across to the opposite side of the vehicle, we come up to our third centering point. After putting the adapter into the hole, noticing the amber colored light is an early indicator of an issue. To confirm the diamond condition exists on the entire left side of the rail, we're going to move to what would be a, our fourth centering point. By holding the measuring in there, again the amber colored light is an indicator of an issue. So after confirming the diamond condition exists in what would have been our fourth centering point, we're going to move on to the remote menu, stop centering, document the sway conditions in both the front and rear of the vehicle, and note that in our graphical presentation as well. In preparation to repair the diamond condition on the damaged side of the vehicle, we've loosened the arms to the machine on both the rear and front clamps. As a visual aid, we've placed a piece of tape behind the arm so we can at a glance monitor how far the vehicle has moved. To more precisely monitor, we've spring-loaded the measuring system, positioned it out of the way so we can accurately monitor how far the vehicle is moving during each pull. So after correcting the diamond condition in the center section of the frame, we've confirmed with our measuring system, we'll proceed by tightening both the rear front clamps, adding in our two centering points, and then continuing the repairs to check for any sway condition that may exist in either the front or rear of the vehicle and make any corrections as needed. Thank you for your time. For any further questions, please contact your local distributor or visit carliner.com.